let's now learn to code with the events. In the introduction of this video, we have already said Windows Forms is an event-driven model. Code is only executed when the event is triggered or raised. An event is just a kind of signal that shows something has happened. For example, a click signal, key press signal, double click signal, mouse enter signal, load signal, etc. So when the signal is sent, the code is executed. In Windows Form, we have a lot of events which we can assign to our controls. For example, a click event can be assigned to a button. Text change event works well with the text boxes and the load event is for the form. Throughout this course, we will learn several different events, but the click event is the main event which is mostly used to execute the code. So let's now see what do we do in order to attach an event to a control. We will work with the click event as for now in this chapter, but the procedure for attaching an event to the control is always the same. You can follow the same procedure in order to attach a different type of event to the control. We start by dragging a button on the form. So here is our button. The name of the button is button 1. The first thing, the important thing is the name of the button. The name will be programmatic. Before we attach the event to the button, we must change its name. So btn, let's say the function of the button is play. And now the text should be play. On the form, we have a single button, but this button is not functional. Nothing will happen when we make a click on it. So let's run the program and check the output. Now click on the button, you will see nothing happens. And you know the reason. There is no event attached to the button. In order to assign an event to the control, for example, this button control, we have two different options or two different methods. The first method, which is also recommended, is to use the property window. In the property window, you will first make sure your selection. I'm going to assign an event to the button. So you can see, I will first select the button and now I will switch to this lightning bolt icon. This is where we find a list of all the events. You can see so many events we can use and assign to this button control. For example, here is a click event. If I scroll down, uh, here we have a drag and drop, uh, drag leave, drag over. And here we have enter event. We have uh, keys events, as you can see here, key down, key press, key up, etc. Right? So the list is very long. Now, moving back to the click event. To assign this click event, we will simply double click next to the name of the event. So here is a space, right? So here we are going to double click. As we double click here, this click event is assigned to the button and you will be diverted to the code window. So let's just have a double click here and now you can see the result this is your event the name of the event is btn play underscore click btn play is the name of the control and click is the name of the event and the event is simply a method with two parameters here we have the first parameter which is sender object sender object captures the control that raises the event and the event argument contains extra information about the control so these are the default parameters and we don't need to think about them at this stage. So now our button has become fully functional. It will respond when we click on it. And whenever we click on the button, this event is raised or triggered and everything, the code we have inside these two parameters will be executed. So let's put some code here to execute. On our form, we drag another button, right? So the name of the button is button one and we will only change the enable property in the property window we will search for the enable property and we'll make this button disabled when the program starts and now using this play button we are going to enable the button one so in our code when the play button is clicked we will simply call the enable property on the button one and we'll switch it back to the boolean true so let's now run the program and check the output. Here you see button one is disabled and now the play button will respond. Click on it and you can see the button one is enabled now. As we click on the play button, this event is raised and the code is executed. So you see things are happening and become interesting. Let's move on. Now I will drag another button. Let's say this button is for cancel. So we change the name of the button. Let's say 
VPN cancel. And now we will assign a click event to this button. We will switch back to the event list. And this is our click event. And this time, I will not double click here. I will instead assign a custom name to my event. You can also do that. For example, I can write button cancel operation underscore click. Now press enter. So you see the event is created, but this time we gave a custom name to our event. You can compare the names in these two events, right? So you can also give the events a customized name. So that was the first and recommended method to attach an event to the control. But there is another method which is very quick method. So let me drag another button on the form like this. Switch to the properties. The name of the button is btn hello and uh, this button will simply show a message box so we can change the text to hello now the quick method every control here in winform has a default event for example the default event for the form is load the default event for the text box is text change and the same way the default event for a button is click so whenever we double click on a control, the program will automatically attach the default event to that control. So instead of picking a default event from the event list, we can simply double click on the control. We can simply double click on this button. So let's double click on this button and the program will automatically create an event for it. You can see here, the button BTN hello has now click event. It's a quick way to attach an event, but that event can only be the default event. If I want to attach another type of event uh, to this button, other than the default one, then I must visit the event list, and from the list, I will pick a different type of event. So my friends, this is how we work with the events in WinForm. This is how we attach an event to a control. Do some practice by your own, drag some buttons and assign them click event. In the next chapter, I will teach you how to delete unnecessary events. It happens quite often that we accidentally create unwanted events. So we must delete them. We cannot simply go inside the code file and just remove this event method. If I do so, our program will complain and give us an error. In the next chapter, we will learn to remove unwanted or unnecessary events.